they will put small nets inside the net, inside the, the sack. That small net will, will, will prevent the small species to pass through. After the activity, when they are coming to ashore, they take off all those, those nets. They are afraid that when they go to ashore, they, they may arrest them. They themselves, they knew that what they are doing is, 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 is offense or it's is, is, is not, is not the right thing they're supposed to do. They are using an illegal size. Otherwise, they shouldn't be lying, landing juvenile fish. The fish they are throwing back into the sea, uh, they are dead. When they get to the bottom, they are even going to cause petrifaction there, cause the pollution of, of, of the area where they, they, they have discarded the fish. Somebody should be bold to call the minister to order that, look, the measures that you are busily concentrating on are not yielding results because Saiko renders all of them ineffective. Meet 38-year-old Nana Kweja. His ancestry straddles many generations of fishermen. I'm a native of Abanzi, born and bred here, and throughout my life, I have stayed here. I was born into a family whose business is fishing. I saw my grandfather doing fishing with my father, and my father also passing it on. So we had a chance to enroll uh, at the basic school and continue uh, 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 schooling. So that's the difference between myself and my father. But both of us are fishermen, except that I went to school. So I am an educated fisherman. In fact, our father used to say that uh, the business uh, may not be as it is now. And now what is selling is education. So we should go to school. At any point in time, if we want to come and do fishing, we can come back and do fishing. And lo and behold, I went to school, I came back from school, and now invested in the industry. Fishing has been a reliable source of livelihood for Kweja and his family. But that situation is changing rapidly as the tides and waves that keep the canoes at this landing beach afloat. The scientific and technical working group has made us to understand that Saiko, as it is being practiced now, is the most destructive form of IUU. And that is what is actually driving the collapse of the industry. An analysis of a slab of Saiko by the Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences, University of Cape Coast, revealed that over 90% of the catch is juvenile. Now, if you, are catch, if you are catching juvenile fish in that quantity, then it means you are hindering the reproductive potential of the resource. If you are catching, if you are catching juvenile fish in that quantity, then where lies the potential of the, uh, of the resource to reproduce? So if you close the sea, to allow for reproduction. But then Saiko business takes all the juvenile fish out of the sea. It renders that measure ineffective and useless. That is why we are worried that the regulator and the ministry will leave activities of Saiko, which is driving the industry uh, 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 down, and rather be uh, busily engaging themselves with measures which are ineffective in the midst of this eco business. And I think somebody should be bold to call the minister to order that look, the measures that you are busily concentrating on are not yielding results because Saiko renders all of them ineffective. Their canoe is among the over 100 canoes here at Abazi where they practice their trade. Today is Wednesday, and Nana Kweja didn't go fishing. He has come to the beach to find out what exactly is happening to his people. We are set on sail, and it's been 
close to eight hours in this kind of expedition. We are in the middle of the sea and I can count up to about eight of the canoes here. They are all in search of fish. They tell me that it's been very difficult for them in recent times because they come home with little or sometimes no catch at all. We are journeying back to the shore after close to 10 hours of fishing. We are coming to the shore with very little catch. They tell me that sometimes they come home with nothing. We are back at the beach after hours of fishing with a painful scanty catch. Painful because the investment of time, fuel for the outboard motor and the manpower cannot be compared to the value of the catch they have landed. It's a complete loss of cash. I have for 40 years. But my father is not a I have been working for many years for the and to buy for the human air shed, the Tibena, and the Marisna, and that this time, no, I'm a double transport now. I'm a punumuno. When ten young canoes now, several decades and nets and a commander de Kay, Namu and Suman. Or there one more one, a bayamo baby out of the way, and way a jumoho. Train boat to send the Mohon one coho, and to be a bia, why a net bia, or your net and getting to be all to what they say, a punumu. After some numbers, what would you want the boat to do, Namana, what net to do, Namana? Waba beginning na ma open wom etopos na enem bi efa ne sesaw won nya no fimara na red fish bi na de fi anam kan nyina we dwu etu egu na wona abo kan 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 anam ne nyina wa san ekko nti train boat sunday wona hanya fishermen spa o mama epono asom dwu nyim ano fair day i can use some crop no o se won won chu be there almost better system is so I have about 30 miles, and then 20 miles, and over two hours. And when you know, can you sing a crime? Yeah, you know. So I've been there, and what a hoyan. And today, I'm going to come to my and I'm going to meet you. And see, trying boats when the water hoyan can't stand. And so I've been on show on Tuesday, on Tuesday, my hand. Now my trying boats, no one can come on the side. Nana Anubel, who turned 50 this year, he used to go fishing with his father when he was a young boy. Those days, it took many strong men to haul the catch in net, which were full of fishes to the beach. But that is no longer the case today. We see the water to put within one month. Ah, we be saying you're fishermen. We be saying you're focus on you. We don't know what time and number of tons you are fine. Government is saying you're tasty. Ma, or boy, him. You have to since time and number of years now. No, children will do yala. But training your nature, train boats and what a hoy, and see, I bang your son up. When you double train boats, no one man, I didn't, I bet you can't was a empty and far one butcher. Baby, so there are the boats to be a while. One allowance is a crown pay, we still now. And no way, you know what? Why you know what Punum? And see, all Madame Uncle Fon Hyan, a follower, and see, ask me, and see a strap, I bang on you, double train boats, no, on you and Cassa. No, my son, I got meant to damn one, okay, you know. No one jam, my answer can sing a baby. I awa, young to manage this time. I bought more to my new And before the Benya canoe, put a few bush out of the bubble. And I say it's almost better one billion. Get into more than one billion. I send a Dianaba. You have got to about more. And this album, I bought more to 250 something. Net, you were size CBN and the prices. And so I'm size now, you'll be on any prices. And so answer before the book, come pay. Nets in the boy, no scramble, or use is almost better six hundred and something, and there's seven hundred and something. And today, you know, or your common young fisherman, saying a fisherman, say, and would be a mat way, a puma, nay, and to me, I hear you, nay, and to me, and for the corner, I can't give us an old bank now. Oh, honey, oh, honey, be brilliant, see a threat. It's one of the most dangerous jobs in Ghana, and yet, young men and women here are still drawn to the excitement and rewards that lure their fathers and grandfathers to this job. The effects of the transshipment has not only affected the fishermen along Ghana's coastal communities, but also the fishmongers here. Ifwachre laments vehemently the impact of the transshipment. 
Why is now my wife sitting with a bunny hat? Papa, papa, I am a local power woman. It's all my hand, but you don't know me. I don't know. If you are shy, I am in a and yet you may be uncle and Juma, Cup and Day. Yana, I'm with the Juan when you say. It's I am a walk on when you be a. You see, you be a shamba. Is that a walk of our Yana? Why my Yamba was schoolish? You two and two more schools, you see, I'm a walk as I have a tenth of it. It's a slabbing. I must have a coffin. What a high. Is that I go for my Yamba or Pawan and Tia Panchoya Sran? I'm not a psycho from two on question. Another mode by your own car. Now for you, my young man, I am a Juma. This all by the Maya, which is here, son. I buy a panicho. I want to say, I have for you, son. If I go from Taman and Papa, you put him in to say, Yamia, no one now question. In Kakama, you do not fear Yamba, or that kind of nominate Eba, Neputunia, so why a cake? And can my Musa Musa and Palace Missidum, may you, Mammy, to be a woman, my marriage. You do you to be a woody young kind of guard, I asked him. The cycle business, according to the Environmental Justice Foundation, an NGO that has its focus in fishing, dates back to the 1970s when the Japanese fishermen used the term saiti to describe the bad or rubbish fish that their trawlers discarded. But local artisanal fishers here in Ghana who said the catch was of value insisted it was psycho, meaning good or useful fish. Subsequently, it developed into an informal trading system where unwanted fish caught by industrial vessels was exchanged as sea for goods such as oranges and water. The practice is prohibited and the Ghana's fisheries laws, an attract fines of between $100,000 and $2 million, with a minimum fine increasing to $1 million, where juvenile fish is involved or prohibited fishing gear is used. In 1996, when we hit the peak of small pelagics, we landed 130,000 metric tons. Right? So Saiko is taking 110 out of the 130 historical maximum. So look, look at the quantum of fish that we are losing as, uh, uh, to Saiko. And the small pelagics they are catching, when we examine the Saiko tab fish tablets, we have uh, conducted uh, studies and come out with a result that 55% of the fish in the small, uh, in the tablets belong to the small pelagic group. 55% belong to the small pelagic group. Now, and majority of them, more than 90%, are juveniles. In other words, even those that are demersal fish or large pelagics, it is they are juveniles that are found in the psycho tablets, you know. Now, if you are catching juvenile fish, it shows that you are not fishing in offshore waters. You are not fishing uh, at the bottom, but you are fishing in inshore waters because juvenile fish of small pelagics and even the large pelagics, they are found in inshore waters. That is what our biology tells us. And that's what we have observed. So if you are selling tablets of fish containing 90% juveniles, then you are, you are not fishing in offshore waters. You are fishing in inshore waters. Professor Kobna Yangson, the head of the scientific and technical working group, speaks of the consequences of the cycle business and its devastating effect on the coastal dwellers who depend on the sea. About 80 to 90% of the uh, fish in the cycle tablets. They are juvenile fish. Mm. And the fact that they are juvenile means that the size of the net, the, the mesh size, is not uh, legal. They are using an illegal mesh size. Otherwise, they shouldn't be lying, landing juvenile fish. So apart from not fishing in the area that they have been designated, they have been licensed to fish, they come to inshore waters and use undersized mesh as well. So that business is illegal. 
totally illegal. The point is that they, they, where did they catch the fish? They came to inshore waters and caught them. And after taking what they want, they throw the, the rest, you know. They are wasting the, 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 the resource. The fish they are throwing back into the sea, uh, they are dead, you know. When they get to the bottom, they are even going to cause putrefaction there and, and you know, um, cause the pollution of, of, of the area where they, they, they have discarded the fish, you know. And we know where the uh, psycho fish are sold, you know. They are sold at Elmina, Apang, Axim. These are the key centers. And we are looking on, you know, why don't we stop them, those who are selling them, why don't we stop them from going to pick the, the, the fish from the high seas? In November 2019, the Ghana Industrial Trawlers Association Executive Board wrote to the Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture stating that they have suspended the cycle transshipment of fish at sea. However, transshipment has always been illegal in Ghana's waters. And since GTS statement, around 70 cycle canoes have landed at Elmina and Apam. But the chairman of the scientific and technical working group, Professor Kobina Yangson, sees the announcement of the Ghana industrial trawlers to suspend the illegal transshipment as laughable. Here's his reason. The transshipment is that cycle business is illegal. You, are, you say that you are suspending. The, the, the I mean, if, if we are doing armed robbery, how can you say we are suspending armed robbery? Uh, after some time, we will come back. Hmm? What you are doing is illegal. You say you are suspending it. It means after some time, you yourself you are admitted that you are engaged in this illegal activity. You are suspending it and you will come back to it later. And we are happy. If we were a country that, you know, exports a lot of fish, then it would have hurt us. You know. Now, these trawlers, the, the fish that they catch, they are target fish, the demesa fish, they have value on international market. You know. So if they continue with the cycle, I think the, the uh, EU has already warned us. In recent times. Yes. And that is why the, um, the um, psycho people came out and said that they are suspending psycho because of the, of the warning, you see. But if they say they have suspended it and they are still doing it, then EU might come in again. In May 2019, there was a call on the Ghana government to end cycle, saying it is one of the most destructive and illegal fishing practices clearly prohibited under the Fisheries Laws of Ghana, the 2002 Fisheries Act, Act 625, and the 2010 Fisheries Regulations, LI 1968. Regulation 33.2 of the LI 1968 specifically prohibits the transshipment of fish from a Ghanaian industrial vessel to a canoe. They noted that despite this, Saiko is still actively practiced in the central and western regions of Ghana and is causing havoc to Ghana's fisheries. Indeed, a new study by Environmental Justice Foundation found that up to 44.5% of fish in individual cycle blocks is sardinella, species that should be caught by artisanal fishes, nearly all of which are juveniles. The Ghana government announced in the 2020 budget that stopping cycle is one of the most efficient measures the Ministry of Fisheries is pursuing to save the fishing industry from imminent collapse. So has the illegal practice of transshipment been suspended as indicated by the Ghana industrial trawlers? Has government done anything about this practice to save the fishing industry in Ghana from collapse? So I decided to go undercover a week after the announcement were made by the Ghana Industrial Trawlers Association to find out whether they have indeed stopped the practice. We are set on sale from Tema. 
heading to an unknown destination on the sea. This fishing vessel, in addition to the crew, has observers that the Fisheries Commission and the Ministry of Fisheries have put on board to report whatever they see while on board the vessels. We have traveled for 12 days on this vessel. This vessel and its crew use some of the unapproved nets. The net is being dragged from the sea and small pelagic is being caught and hauled into this vessel. The catch of the fishermen is divided into three. The desired catch that they keep, that is the target fish. The ones they sometimes freeze and later meet the fishermen at the pump, Elmina and other parts of the central region and sell to them, that is the bycatch. And that's what is sold to the fishermen as cycle. And about 60% of their catch, they throw back into the sea. These fishes are dead. They were caught with small nets that they were prohibited from using. For this vessel, the activities of the trawlers were pervasive. They were fishing within the 30-meter exclusive zone. This is something the fisheries regulation detests. These are dead fishes that are thrown back into the sea. And scientists say the throwing back of the small pelagic that are dead further poisons the sea and worsens the problem of the dwindling fish stocks. These trawlers now not only target the demersal, that is the bottom dwelling species for which they are licensed, but the species reserved for artisanal fishes, such as the severely depleted small pelagic, known as the people's fish. The same activities were observed in vessels with registration numbers Mengjin 5 and Jinhain 608. At Apam and Elmina, the fishermen meet them on the sea and the frozen fishes are sold to them. I meet one of the observers who has been assigned by the Fisheries Commission and the Ministry to observe and report the activities in the fishing vessels. He looks worried about the activities going on. I call him Atumpiki. They will put small nets inside the net, inside the, the sack, the, the sack. They put small nets inside. Mm, that small net, that small net will, will, will prevent the small species to pass through. After the activity, when they are coming to ashore, they take off all those those nets. They are afraid that when they go to ashore, they, they may arrest them. So, the, for, for, so they themselves they knew that what they are doing is 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 is, is offense or it's it's, it's it's not it's not the right thing they're supposed to do. I make sure I bring all the necessary report to the ministries. So. If I bring the report to the ministry and the next day or the next month I see the person on TikTok again. So I feel, I feel bad because me, I think that the person must be arrested or the person must be uh, prosecuted because he has done a long fighting or uh, has done a long activity on TikTok. So I'll go on TikTok not less than 40 days, 30 days and those stuff. I'll go and bring reports and the ministry will sit on that or that one I can't tell. If they take me, I can't tell because be, the, the vessel will be arrested, or you can, you can see that this report is there. When I bring the party, this vessel will be arrested. Ha! Ah, within three days, you see the vessel is going again. Really? So you ask yourself, ah, so why? Is it that I'm doing the work or I'm not, I, I'm not doing the work? Because they said anytime the vessel or the vessel do any illegal activity, that vessel must be hold on, hold on responsibility. And you can see that when anytime we bring the, we bring the report, the next day, you see the vessel going again. So the question is, what are the useful of our reports bringing to the office?